Lawmakers in Washington are moving ahead with a plan to ban the use of TikTok in the United States. The popular app and its Chinese parent company are targeted in legislation that will hit the House of Representatives this week. And despite intense lobbying by users, the White House says President Joe Biden is prepared to sign it. The CBC's Richard Madden is in Washington with the details. So, Richard, what exactly are lawmakers trying to do here? Hey, Andrew, yeah, we're watching this very closely. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill say their goal is to protect American TikTok users from Chinese espionage. Now, few issues unite a divided Congress than taking on big tech. So later this week, House lawmakers will vote on a bill that would ban this widely popular social media app, TikTok, from being downloaded on app stores here in the U.S. unless the company divests itself from its parent company, China-based ByteDance, within six months. Now, for years, Years, U.S. intelligence agencies have warned the Chinese government could get access to TikTok user data for nefarious purposes, from spying on account holders to creating massive disinformation campaigns to disrupt elections and sow chaos in America. Now, TikTok denies this and has warned if this bill passes, the livelihoods of influencers and content creators could be affected. The company since mobilized its 170 million users, American users rather, to call their members of Congress to complain, and lawmakers' offices were reportedly bombarded with calls all last week. But that strategy appears to have backfired, at least for members of Congress. Take a listen. TikTok actually put up a notice where they blocked uh, an individual to actually get on TikTok unless you called your member of Congress and told them, you know, not to vote for this legislation. But that's just an example of how they can manipulate data and influence Americans for their agenda. If you want to use your TikTok account, you have to put in your zip code so that TikTok can tell you which representative you should call. Imagine when China wants to use it more nefariously. Imagine when they want to truly engage in psychological warfare against the American people. Okay, so assuming this bill sails through the House later this week, likely Wednesday or Thursday, it then goes to the Senate where its fate is unclear. So, Richard, how is this playing out in the backdrop of the election campaign? Yeah, Andrew, you can imagine that politicians will use TikTok to reach their audience. Uh, but President Joe Biden, who is on TikTok, says he'll support the bill if Congress signs it. But former President Trump, who pushed for the ban as president, has done a 180. He now says he's opposed to it because it would give other sites like Facebook more power. So now with speculation swirling about a possible sale of TikTok, Canadian entrepreneur and Shark Tank host Kevin O'Leary says... He wants to buy it, floating the idea on Fox News. Watch. Not going to get banned because I'm going to buy it. Somebody's oh. going to buy it. it. It won't be it won't be Meta and it won't be Google because the okay. regulator will stop that. A syndicate will be formed. I would like to be involved, obviously. OK, so we'll see where that goes. But behind the scenes, we're also learning how big money is being used to pressure lawmakers to kill the bill, which critics say may explain Trump's sudden reversal. So follow me here, Andrew. Trump's former top aide, Kellyanne Conway, was hired by a conservative group supporting TikTok to lobby members of Congress to change their minds. And the owner of that group is a Republican mega donor who owns a $33 billion stake in TikTok's parent company. According to the New York Post, he's reportedly threatening lawmakers that he'll stop donating to their campaigns if they vote yes to the breakup of TikTok from its Chinese parent company. So it'll be interesting to see if Republicans fall in line with the power of money playing an outsized role on Capitol Hill. Yeah, it sure will. All right, Richard, thank you. The you CBC's bet. Richard Madden live in Washington.